I would like to introduce. 浪人 on dope. Nice everybody, welcome back to Ronin on dope. Today I'm going to be listing some of the ongoing mangas which I feel are very underrated. Thus urge you to supply some healthy dose of love to us then. I'm sorry it will just take a second. I just wanted to let you know that we just hit 100 subs. <laughs> and I'm very happy. Thank you for believing in me and subbing to my channel. I just hope that I don't let you down in the future. That's it. Thank you very much. My new wife is forcing herself to smile. From the mangaka of a story about treating a female knight who has never been treated as a woman as a woman. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Comes a historical manga about a skilled swordsman renowned for his strength all over the country who is extremely concerned about the well-being of his newly wedded wife as he feels like she is not happy with her married life thus forcing herself to smile rather than genuinely being happy with him. But as the story goes on we figure out it's not exactly as it thinks. becoming couple goals for lots of people along the way like the earlier work of the mangaka it's a good blend of cute and wholesomeness mixed with very negligible amount of ichi making a perfect dose of potion to make your kokoro go doki doki and if you have checked out his earlier work you will see it's quite similar to that still it's funny and extremely adorable and has a lot of meme material so check it out narikawari So this is okay. I stumbled into it while reading mangas and personally I find it quite interesting. It's about a Mario Kun who as most schoolboy MC is really sincere at heart but is timid and as such often gets ignored even by his own family. Except some bullies I guess. Tara usko life takes an unexpected turn when a package is delivered to him inside which a band and a note is attached. Just much as swap souls with one you wish to become like him. And as soon as he puts on the band and automated voice stating that he is his navigator shows him his position sticker which gives him the ability to swap body with whoever he has placed his sticker on armed with such device he protects he attack and most importantly he cuts your back I'm sorry for that it's a very interesting story kune kune bela mark fu speed ma puts a pacing but still if you give it a try you might like it dan da dan The manga Dandadan details the tale of Ayase Momosan who after a violent breakup with her boyfriend finds herself in a heated discussion with her classmate over the existence of ghosts and alien with Ayase San refuting the existence of the aliens or extraterrestrial life and the boy rejecting the notions of existence of ghost or supernatural element so to prove themselves right they demand the other person to visit the site they believe to be the hotspot for paranormal activity with ISS and visiting a building supposedly occupied by alien and the boy visiting the tunnel which is supposed to be haunted by a spirit and what do you know they both were right as the boy gets haunted by a turbo granny demanding to devour his <coughs> and ISS nearly getting assaulted by a group of alien and thus begins a fun adventure The pacing is quite excellent on this manga and it does help that the poppy art style is very pleasing. So, enjoy. Fusino Sogisi. The manga Fusino Sogisi follows the tale of Leon, a human and immortal hybrid on his final examination to become an undertaker. Highly reputed individual tasked with the responsibility of granting peace to the deceased and help them ascend to a place they call heaven. who after trying to save a girl finds himself on the run being chased by some powerful and corrupt immortals as usual and on this adventure encounters various individuals with their own tragedy that they try to overcome all the while clinging on to it for their dear life with beautiful gothic aesthetic and morose ambiance the story will hint plenty of tear jerker moments and will not fail to deliver on that promise with excellent pacing and accurate blend of horror beauty and tragedy it is sure to cut onions near you boku no kokoro no yabayatsu if you are into reading wholesome mangas the mangas that just hit you right in your heart or make your kokoro go doki doki then you can check out this video also this manga the manga begins with our mc ichikawa claiming himself to be different from other normal teenagers claiming himself to be some sort of beast that thirsts for blood and Mark Yamada is his first victim on his path of carnage all of which turns out to be complete bullshit 
It's just a teenager severely affected by the Chunibyo or 8th grade syndrome. What's that you may ask? Anyway, back to the manga. In reality, Ichikawa is just infatuated with Yamada, watching her moves, falling deeper in love with her as he protects her innocence from anyone that he perceives may harm it. In any case, the tone of the manga changes quite drastically over the later half if you compare it to the beginning chapters, with high amount of focus given to the cute moments shared by the characters over the supposed bloodlust of our MC. And believe me, there's a lot of wholesome moments. Some creepy ones as well. Hachigatsu Kokonoku Hachigatsu One Eternity Later Hachigatsu Kokonoka Boku wa Kimi ni Kuareru Once surfing through the <coughs> through this, <coughs> I stumbled into a horror story about a tall woman who stole male teenager's soul with her bewitching beauty and other Japanese folk tales Hachisaku Hachiwa Keraku Meguri Igyou Kaikitan And I really liked it and while searching for similar manga content found nothing until recently when I stumbled into this gem of a manga. Achigatsu Kokonoka Boku wa Kimi ni Kuareru is about Sakurai, a young teenage boy who as long as he can remember has been plagued by a stalker who follows him wherever he goes. But here's the twist, the girl stalking him is one of the creatures from the folk tales and not only that, the most of the girls or women he comes into contact with are the creatures from the folk tales who love him so much that they want to eat him to become one with him I guess and his stalker is the one who is protecting him from all the creatures that come after him I personally love it very much with the lead and this character being my favorite so might as well give it a try Planetary Human this is one of those rare finds, I'm really proud and extremely happy that I stuck with it. As you can see, the art style is not what you would find in a typical manga or even manhwa, as if this is a manhwa. It seems less refined at a first glance, but after some time, you'll begin to see the beauty behind it. It perfectly portrays the eerie, sinister vibe of the world the characters live in. The plot here follows the adventures of a normal high school boy, who at a young very young age survived a brain tumor surgery as well as a heart surgery and deservedly so gets bullied all the time till one day when he gets into an accident and gets split into half yes you heard me right he gets split into half but by the grace of Korean Jesus survives and slowly recuperates into normal life one day a miniature Iron Man appears out of his ear, unraveling a lot of mysteries surrounding our MC and the beautifully strange world he resides in. Filled with extremely dark humor, it is sure to entertain you. If not, then creepy at least. So enjoy being creeped out. Yankee go to Zuko. One of my personal favorite. I mean Every manga, like you list on Waku, Sabi manga ni favorite or ra, underrated, ho, but still, I hold a deeper love for it in my Kokoro. The name, if you translate it, literally means Yankee goes to cram school or Tilinguin goes to cram school or in Nepali, Tape Janza tuition. And as the name suggests, it's about a Tape or a Yankee Ikarishi who goes to tuition, like Zu tuition Janza. But on a serious note, it's about a Tape who, like any of us, gets dragged into the tuition or cram school due to a girl as he literally gets dragged by arms into cram school by a ditzy pretty girl meaning Ramri Beowulf Katie because he was flustered thinking whoa she's cute and by some twist of fate gets inspired to follow his dreams of becoming an astronaut but each time he tries to reach for the moon his rocket of hopes gets grounded by the life or the reality he surrounds himself with including punks, bullies, violence and lots more. The protagonist of Yankee goes to Juku. Sorry, the protagonist of Yankee Go to Juku, unlike other Sonin or Sozo or even Seinen school life manga MCs, feels more grounded. And same can be said about the tone which is quite heavy and also the sense of humor which is almost never over the top. I personally feel it is the most underrated manga on the whole roster so i hope you will show it some extreme amount of love mysteries maidens and mysterious disappearances 
The manga Mysteries, Maidens and Mysterious Disappearances follows the story of Ogawa, who once was a 15-year-old prodigy with gifted talent as a novelist, but now, in her late 20s after hitting a nasty writer's block, is just a busty shop employee who loves urban legends and working beside Adachi, a mysterious young teenager. Now suffering with mediocrity, she is struggling to grasp onto her teenage years when she feels she was seemingly bursting with ideas. And on her 28th birthday, when she unknowingly reads a cursed book gifted to her by her boss due to a drop lifter, she gets reverted back to into her early teenage years and gets a sudden jolt of creativity blasting away that nasty writer's block. But being a cursed book as it is, it actually shrunk her body instead of time reversal and her 28 years old body is now forcibly stuffed into a child size which is bursting out of its seams. What follows next is a much more in-depth dive into the world of curses, urban stories, occults, mysteries, maidens and mysterious disappearances. Filled with itchy moments as well, this seinen manga is sure to pique your interest. Finally, Stepmother Smartin. Stepmother Smartin follows the tale of Suri Van Nuenstein, an innocent girl forcibly married into the nobility by her family only to be despised by the children she promised her dead husband that she would protect. On top of which, she receives constant hate from her fellow high society members due to her ease and her upbringing as well as labeling her the Iron Widow, the Spider Widow, Male Hunter, the Witch of Nuenstein Castle, the embarrassment of noble ladies and lots more. Despite such criticism from everyone around her, she sacrificed her youth, raising the same children that despise her and bully her religiously. And finally, one day before her first son's wedding, she is requested to leave the mansion and break all ties with the family, only for her to be brutally murdered by bandits putting an end to the tragedy that was her life. Well, not quite. As she opens her eye to find herself seven years ago on the death of her husband's funeral. Now armed with knowledge of seven years into the future and maturity she gained through the harsh times she suffered, she will face the challenges head on to find herself in a future different to the one she previously had. Mixed with political coup, the conflict with Holy Church and some alternate future storyline with a heavy creamy taste of beautiful artwork, you'll find yourself a delicious batter you can't stop gorging on. And with this ends our video. If you feel like some mangas were left out, name it down in the comment section below. I'll be dropping some new manga reviews very soon. So a smash to the subscribe button would be phenomenal. Also check out the other videos as well. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's meet again soon. Till then, take care of yourself. Tata now. Tata. Ronin signing out.